Hello everyone, welcome to Exadmi Redefining Education. My name is Prabhash Kumar and I am teaching you industrial engineering. So we are seeing into a chapter called forecasting. What is forecasting? It is the process of predicting future sales or demand by quantitative data or by judgmental technique. By quantitative data or by judgmental technique. So these are the two different methods using which forecasting is being done so forecasting is what basically prediction what is going to be future sales or demand okay so these predictions give the basis of future requirement of men materials machine and money so it happens sometimes in industry that if you are creating some product so you should be well familiar what type of products is in demand in the recent time how will you know that you would be able to know that by seeing the previous data. So using the previous data, we could predict what is going to be my future sales or demand. So you should remember that forecasting is based on the assumption that the past predicts the future. So what we are doing is we are assuming a fact that the past predicts the future. One thing, please make sure that this we are predicting it right we are not exactly telling that what is going to happen in future because you know very well that future is very uncertain anything can happen anytime but at least we could get some idea so that we could process or we could uh, work in that regard such that the industry works when forecasting think carefully whether or not the past is strongly related to what you expect to see in the future so this is a mere statement so what is forecasting all about? So let's see, we have taken one example of the demand of Mercedes E-Class and we are trying to predict the future by looking back at the past. So we are taking some previous data. So let's say in the month of January, this much, is, this much was the demand, so this blue dot. And then in February, this was the demand. And then March, this was the demand, April, May, june and so on okay so these were the future demands what you have to do is you have to predict the demand for july okay so let's say you are in the month of june and you want to predict what is going to happen in july what will be the uh, demand in the month of july so with the help of all these previous data so we have predicted this data right so this particular value so this is the predicted demand which is looking back six months so six months back data we have taken and based upon those data we are predicting what is going to be the demand for this mercedes e-class product in the month of july okay so this blue color dots as you can see these are the actual demands based upon the past sales and this orange color dot is uh, your predicted demand so let's see the classification of forecasting. So broadly speaking, we can classify forecasting under two broad categories. One is called quantitative method and other is your qualitative method. Okay, quantitative method and one is qualitative method. So quantitative method is further classified into two, which is called time series analysis. And the second one is casual or econometric. Fine. One more thing, this quantitative method the objective is of objective nature, right? So this is of objective nature and it is used for short or medium term forecasting. So this quantitative method of forecasting is objective in nature. Along with that, it is used for short or medium term forecasting. And this qualitative method is subjective in nature and it is used for long term forecasting. Time series analysis is used for short range and casual or econometric uh, method of forecasting is used for medium range. All right. Now, broadly speaking, this time series analysis, we have got these methods. First one is your simple average method. So here AM, you can write, this is the short form of average method. Or if you want to write SAM, so which becomes simple average method simple average method you should write in full then we have weighted moving average method you can call this as to be w mam 
विच इज वेटेड मूविंग एवरेज मेथड देन वी हैव एक्सपोनेंशियल स्मूथनिंग मेथड विच इज ई एस एम ओके सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट मेथड्स दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी फॉर न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड दीज कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ टाइम सीरीज एनालिसिस विच इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर द शॉर्ट रेंज फोकास्टिंग दिस कैजुअल और इकोनोमेट्रिक is further classified under two which is called regression analysis and correlation analysis all right so these two methods are used for medium range forecasting so we have studied this classification please do remember this particular chart because uh, many questions do come up from this particular chart i will show you one example and one more thing so we have qualitative methods it is qualitative method you can have opinion survey delphi technique market trial market survey research okay so please do i'm just erasing uh this and please take the snapshot and copy it copy this down in your notebook and learn it so one question this is a gate question it was asked so which of the following forecasting technique cannot be used for short or medium range forecasting so let's recap esm remember what is this esm esm is exponential smoothing method and it comes under time series analysis and this time series analysis was used for short range so obviously this is not the correct answer then let's see delphi technique this was used for long range remember this is of qualitative technique so it is long range so this is also not the correct answer moving average method this also comes under time series analysis and used for short range okay yes this will be the answer so this as you can see out here so oh, let me take one pen yeah so this linear regression this linear regression was used for medium range medium range fine this comes under casual or econometric so this is not the answer what is being asked which is not used for short or medium so obviously this is not this is not this is used for short and this is used for medium so these are not the answer this is also used for short so this is all not this is also not the answer then we have the last one which is left and it is used for long range and hence this is my correct answer fine so please do remember that particular chart of classification so in the next lecture i will take one by one single method and i will explain how to solve the problems related to that see you in the next lecture till then bye